May God bless you all every day of your life. God bless you. Let me say something, and I pray that this makes sense. Let's say that you want really nice things on this earth. So you go out and work one, two, three jobs, perhaps. You may go to college for much of your life, either from, I don't know, like two to 10 years, I guess. Or you receive some other types of training. Some people may get married and have children. Some people have their life so organized or they organize their life to where they pretty much to a certain extent receive some of the things that they want or if there is something that they want they pretty much occupy so much of their time into receiving what they want. So let's say that you get that nice home. You get those nice cars. Let's say that you get what you are looking for. You know, you placed all that time into your training, college, whatever type of school you placed so much time in it. Let's say a natural disaster happens to where your home gets burnt down, to where your cars get damaged. Let's say that something happens where something really bad happens to the government. Something really bad happens in the banks or to the banks that you have your money in. Let's say something really crazy happens on earth where you lose everything. Think about the time and effort you placed to get those cars, to get those homes. Think about the time and effort that you placed to make the money that you made now. So many sacrifices. Let's say that you lose everything. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? So if you were to work so hard to get all those things, then lose everything, what can you say about that? I wasted my time. <laughs> I wasted my time. But let's say that there is a person. Yes, that person works. That person may do some things in college and stuff like that. But this person is focusing much of their time in doing things of God as in reading the Bible, praying, fasting, helping others, just focusing much of their life into serving God. So let's say that those natural disasters happen to where 
they lose everything as well. What can that person say? That person can't really say that what he or she did was a waste of time because much of their time went toward God. So this person has a relationship with God. Yes, that person may lose some things, whatever, but if I am only giving 20% of my life and doing things to better myself in this world, so if I lose 20%, that is really nothing. <laughs> but if someone is placing 80% or higher, 50% or higher <laughs> in bettering their lives on this earth, and if they lose what they gain on this earth with placing 50% of themselves in this world, I guess you can say, that is a great loss. So I pray that this is making sense. What I am trying to say to you it is not worth it. Your eternal soul spirit means a lot more than what you gain on this earth because you are going to lose everything. You can't take anything that you gain on this earth to hell with you. <laughs> you can't. You can't take anything that you gain on this earth to heaven with you. You can't. Determining where you go in the next world depending on what you do in this world, determines where you are going to go in the next world. Let me stop right here. I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless you. If you are interested, what I need help in is for some people to type up what I say in my videos, and I am going to use that to pass out to other people. So if you are interested in that, please contact me. God bless you.